Hey guys, welcome back to the Limited Queue. Um, I'm going to do something that I haven't really done in a while, uh, but I think that I should start doing again, which is, I call it the winner circle. Uh, whenever we finish up a draft, we look at the uh, the winning uh, match, and just to see what they're playing, what they're doing, uh, maybe uh, make some comments on it, see how, see how the person who won, how they won. Uh, and we could definitely learn something from that, I think. Oh, that's interesting. So everybody's going to be getting Fates for Forge packs for going 2-1. We should probably hit the uh, hit the vendors and grab some uh, cons packs while they're still cheap because they're going to go up in value if everybody's getting Fates for Forge packs as Fates Reforged packs as prizes. <clears throat> All right, so let's check out the first game of the uh, of the finals where LRR did go 2-0 over Nestlerov. Nestlerov? Nest Nestle Nestrelov. Right. How about the graveyards? Blizzard, please make it on Wizards, please make it a default, that'd be great. Barricade and to morph. Okay, so we're Mardu on Mardu. So Mardu is this Mardu? Oh, this could be Jessica on the bottom here. So Boros on, on Mardu so far. <laughs> Yikes! Saddle Brute's a big, a big hitter. And okay, Pony Back Brigade. Not sure if that was the best attack by LRR, but hey, I guess it worked. Staring down this though. Do you really chump block the gorse one and just lose your wall for no reason? Sandblast? What is this? Take up arms. Okay. Dragon Grip is an instant on a warrior token. Okay. Interesting way to uh, spread out damage. And then the Dragon Grip for the win on his Saddle Brute. Wow, so Dragon Grip is actually, a you know, gaining traction as a playable card. All right, let's go back to see game two. So Dragon Grip versus Dragon Grip. I, I'm kind of curious to see if Nestler, Nestlerov is actually just playing two colors or what's going on there. Because if he went to the finals just playing Boros, that's, uh, that's impressive. It also screams about how the format has changed. If that's the case. <laughs> it looks like Nestler, Nestler well, blah, blah, is actually just playing Boros. is really just playing what I would call a standard Mardu aggro deck. There's nothing special about it. I mean, unyielding Krumar is... Uh, I mean, we haven't seen any bombs, let's put it that way. He just drafted a really solid deck. That is a rare? No, it's not common. Trees and feet of resistance responded by Douse and Gloom. Wow, that was a, that was a strong series of events right there. You know, I gotta say, for for going two colors, you definitely don't get mana screwed, do you? <clears throat> Makes it much easier to go 17 lands, have more threats more aggressive deck. There might be something to that. I mean, I understand he lost in the finals, but it's also worth noting that it did happen. Uh, 
Uh-oh. Valley Dasher for the win, maybe. <laughs> Yikes. Well, that's how it went down. Uh, looks like there was a Boros deck that actually ended up in the finals against Mardu. Interesting. Alright. Thank you for joining us on the Limited Queue. I hope you enjoyed the Winner Circle. I also, uh, go back and if this is the only video you've seen, you should totally watch us go 2-1 on this Swiss draft. It was alright. Alright. See you later.